Hey guys, it's Appleman. Welcome back again to my channel and happy fall. I hope you've had a great week and I'm excited today to show you guys a drawing tablet. I haven't done a review for one of these in a little while, but Simbans sent me a drawing tablet to review and it is the Picasso tab. And I'm excited to take a look at it and see how it works because I'm very much into digital art and I want to test it out and see if it's any good and I will give you guys my honest opinions. So let's get right into it. So, you guys might remember I actually reviewed a Picasso tab a few years ago and I really liked it. And so uh, they reached out again and wanted me to take a look at their newest model and so I said why not because I'm very big on digital art lately so I'm always looking for affordable options that I can recommend to people that work. So I'm gonna get this open and uh, we're gonna see what they've packed in here for us. So first thing that comes in here, it looks like to be one of these gloves for digital art. Let me take a look at it and show you. So the purpose of these gloves is to go on your last two fingers, like so. So that way when you are drawing, uh, your hand is not smudging the screen the entire time and it glides nicely. It's actually kind of nice that they've included one. The next thing that comes in here looks to be a stand. Excuse me while I figure out how to open this. The tablet would go right in here. This might be able to be propped up because the back part here bends, um, but closed. This makes a very nice case for the tablet so that it's protected. And it looks like there's a little slot here on the side for the pen, which I have right here. So simple pen. Of course it comes with a charger. And the nice thing is that it is a USB-C charger, which I appreciate greatly because all of my chargers in the house are the new standard USB. Uh, and then here it comes with some adapters. Of course, the last thing in here you're gonna see a reflection of my camera, is the tablet itself. So let us get this turned on. Give me a second while I set this up. All right, so we've got our tablet here put together. I have gone ahead and I've downloaded two drawing apps that the company has recommended. We have Concepts and we have Painter. Uh, so I'm going to take a look at both. I guess I'll pick one in terms of what I wanna draw with. So I believe they said that these are going to be the default um, drawing programs that come with the tablet, which makes sense since it is an art tablet, so it would make sense that they would include some art programs with it. I think I'd like to create a little something, so bear with me and let's get into it. So for the purposes of this drawing, I'm using the program Painter, which is one of the ones that the company said will be added to the tablet by default. Uh, I am using the premium version because they gave a free trial and I wanted to test out all of the features that it had to offer. So that is just a little bit about the software. And as you can see here, I'm just kind of testing a few brushes and a few things. Um, so, you know, just playing around with it. And something that I've turned on is the symmetry tool, which is a very helpful tool if you want to do uh, something to be very even on both sides. So for the purposes of this drawing, I'm doing a face straight on. So I figured I might as well just use the symmetry tool to test out how that works here as well. And I'm going in with a sketching pencil brush that I've chosen and sketching something out really quick in a blue color just to kind of get something on the page and then I'll go ahead and I'll line it. But I want to talk to you a little bit about my experience using the tablet so you guys know. I know the holiday season is coming up and, uh, you know, people are always asking me for, you know, tips on what kind of mediums or, or things to purchase and what kind of um, brands and things are good for various things. So in terms of digital art, I have a list of pros and cons I've made about this tablet and some of my opinions on various factors. So I'm just going to get right into talking about them because I'm sure you want to hear my opinions. So the first thing that I will say is uh, I want to touch on the ease of use of the tablet. So out of five, I would rate the ease of use of this tablet as a four out of five. Uh, upon turning it on, I just logged into a Google account because it is a Android tablet. So it was really simple to set up and uh, you know, 
like from the, the start, it was just ready. I didn't have to install drivers or anything like that. I know with various drawing tablets that connect to a computer, you have to do those things. Often you have to set up the software and all that, and you have to plug it in with a bunch of wires. So um, the nice thing about this is that it is a standalone tablet, meaning that you don't need a computer or a laptop for this to plug into to be able to use it. You can just use it straight off the bat because it's its own thing. It's a tablet. Um, doesn't require anything else, which is nice because I've used a lot of tablets that plug into uh, or require another monitor. And um, while they're good, I much prefer being able to draw straight on the screen. So that is something that I very much appreciate uh, with tablets and uh, that's no exception here. Next thing I wanna touch on is the touch screen, no pun intended, um, and I guess the sensitivity of the pen. I would give that a four out of five as well. Um, it, it, the pressure sensitivity is fine. It's pretty standard. So it, you know, the harder you press, the more it picks up on you. Uh, pushing down and it'll make your lines thicker and then the less you do you know and so on but um, also just in general I mean I didn't really have any issues but I wouldn't give it a five out of five I would give it a four out of five just because I felt like there you know slight room for improvement but um, I you know I would say it was still fine so it's pretty standard um, but I really want to talk about the price and the value of the tablet overall which on Amazon currently this tablet runs for $239.99 US dollars, um, which I think personally is a great value, especially for a standalone tablet, because uh, first of all, all, the things that come with it, it comes with a lot of accessories like a case, uh, the glove, as you saw, and um, the tablet itself, the screen size is actually pretty nice. It isn't tiny or small and you do get a lot of room and the pen does glide very nicely on this. So overall, I, I felt like this was a really good value if uh, you are looking for a tablet to you know, get started with, especially for drawing on a screen directly. Maybe you've you know, grown up with those tablets that are the black slab that plug into your computer and you know, that's what you know. Um, but th this kind of tablet is my preferred type. And I would say for the price range, this one is pretty decent. I wouldn't overlook it if you're looking to start somewhere. Um, and so yeah, value is a big thing for me. And I would say if I had to say beginners, intermediate, uh, advanced, you know, like where do you fall? Should you get this tablet? I would say this tablet is great for beginners. You know, maybe you don't want to do the plunge and spend over a thousand dollars on an iPad. Um, to see if you like the medium or to practice, you know, maybe you just want to get started somewhere And I think that for you know less than $250 this is a great Deal for that because um, you know, you don't have to break the bank to try it out and you're able you can create Whatever you want with this, you know, I'm drawing a more simple face here um, and you will see me try out some different effects with lighting and this and that um, the software is capable of all of that I use procreate on my iPad and this software honestly is pretty similar. It actually has more brushes than Procreate came with in terms of like variety. So I, at least in my opinion, well, maybe not more, okay. They both have their own specialties. I would say that I just, this was like a nice difference in change of pace and types of brushes that it offered. But anyway, I, I digress. Um, but yeah, so I would say that this is great for beginners. I would even say if you're, you know, intermediate, if, if you just want a tablet to take on the go, um, give it a look. Now, uh, if I'm gonna give some cons for the tablet, I will say that one thing that I found was happening was, um, even with the glove, it, it happened less with the glove, but sometimes the tablet would pick up on my hand on the screen and it would, you know, make a dot of something somewhere, which was a little annoying. I had to go back and erase that. And I kind of worked around it at some point, kind of learned not to press my hand so hard on the screen because that's something I tend to do when I draw in general, is I just shove my hand down into the paper or onto the screen. So that's kind of a me problem, but you know, that's just something to think about. I don't think that's anything that should, you know, stop you from enjoying the tablet, but it is something to think about. And then another con was that sometimes it lags slightly, but you know, for an Android tablet at this price range, I think that's kind of standard. I don't think that it's that crazy that that's gonna happen. So those are just some of the things I noticed, but in terms of pros, like I said, I think that the price is pretty good for what you're getting here. 
And the fact that it's a standalone tablet is something that I value highly, <laughs> just because I've always liked tablets that have a screen. I know back in the day when I was a beginner digital artist, I knew that a Cintiq was the way to go in terms of if you wanted a, you know, a standalone kind of, well, not even standalone necessarily, just some, a screen to draw directly on. Um, but, you know, I, I got an iPad a few years ago and I've been enjoying that greatly. I like not having to plug a tablet into my computer and have to stay stationary with it in order to draw. I like being able to draw on the go. So that is nice about this kind of tablet that you can take it with you if you're on a train or on a bus or you go away somewhere for the weekend or whatever, you can take it with you and you can continue your drawing wherever you want. You don't have to worry about plugging it in. So that is something that I very much appreciate. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I would say that this tablet is a great value, especially for beginners just looking to get into digital art or trying out this kind of tablet. Definitely give it a look. And um, I will have all of the links for it in the description below. So you can check it out depending on what country you're in. Um, there's various links for that to purchase it. But um, I want to thank Simbens for sending me this tablet to review because I'm always looking for giving my honest opinions and showing you guys things that I think you might like. So anyway, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you like the little artwork I created. I had fun making her and just playing with different effects and lighting and glowing. <laughs> but um, so thank you for watching. As always, I have all my links in the description below. The link, the link to my online store, my Patreon pin club, my Discord server, and my Instagram are all there. And of course, the links for Simbans' tablet are all there as well. So thank you again, and I will see you guys next time. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Happy November, happy fall, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.